Good morning. I just woke up to this this morning. This is Hurricane Dorian. There's a cereal box in my yard. I don't know where it came from. Anyway, everybody knows about Hurricane Dorian. They've been talking about it for a week now. And it's finally here. It's going to be blowing all day. Uh, this is just tropical storm stuff here. We're not supposed to get much more than this, I don't think. But here it is. The only thing I'm worried about is that tree right there coming down. They parked the cars right here, but I don't know, I don't think they're out of the way of that tree. Anyway, let's go look in the backyard, see what's going on in the backyard. My neighbor's little shed right there. The door blew off of it. The doors, there's one over there. Have some tree limbs down. Some little tree limbs, not no big ones yet. Smurf village over there had a bad day. Them trees are giving it, ain't I don't know if it looks like what it looks like on camera to me, but those trees are whiffing. Hmm. A milk jug over there. Somebody's trash can must have turned over. <laughs> Cereal and milk, look at that. <laughs> There's a bowl. <laughs> All right, <bye. laughs> yeah. Or that one broke up. We clean my lens, I'm sure it's wet at the beach for us this morning in Temple. How are things there? I'm here in Sullivan's Island. Continues to pile up, uh, and we will expect to see That's more fire reports coming right there. in shortly. Uh, just a couple of things that I want to note uh, on our storm reports. Still getting lots of information in uh, from the National Weather Service uh, on trees down, power lines down, all through Dorchester, Berkeley, uh, parts of Charleston County as well. So just keep that in mind as you're. As you're in place this morning, let's not drive out and about. Uh, it's not the time to do that. As wind gusts have been steadily climbing, you can see the 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts are quite common right now uh, from Cerville to North Charleston down to Folly Beach. We do not have the sensors on Johns Island.
friends are picking up. They've laid down my blackberries out there. It's all right. Heard some noise over here earlier, but I don't know what it was. I'd zoom in over there to see, but the fence is in the way. Heard a big bang. Hope everything's all right. The lights kind of flickered earlier. I hope we don't lose power. We didn't lose power during the last hurricane we had, so hopefully we won't lose power on this one. A couple of hurricanes back, the tree limb fell out of this tree right here and landed on my mama's old car and bent it up and busted out the window. I'm gonna have to have that towed to the junkyard, I guess. Uh, but the winds are supposed to pick up, get up to 65 miles per hour later today. Um, I'm hoping this will blow by quicker than they're saying. Honestly, I don't believe much what the news tells you because they like to make things sound worse than they are or they hide details from you know, to make it sound like a surprise. Like all day yesterday, all we heard, you know, well, for the last few days, all we've heard is, oh, it's going to take a job to the east and ride along the coast it's not going to be that much damage and all this and here it is it's right off the coast charleston's getting battered um by 60 mile an hour winds right now they've got 176 thousand people without power right now trees down all over the place and if things wasn't bad enough when things are calm the people are walking out into the park standing in a mud puddle hollering about flooding you know when it truly does flood what are they going to do go stand in the middle of the river and you know all that like they do in the puddles they should tell the story as it is and quit trying to make up stuff to make it seem worse than it is like all these other idiots who claim they went to went and got shot at in, in uh, Afghanistan and all that when they, they weren't even there yeah, but uh, anyway, I think the media just makes things worse than it is. We'll see, we'll see. That's leaning pretty hard. Oh, there goes the transformer. Ooh, I smell it. I don't know if you heard that, the transformer just blew down there somewhere. Might be to find it. One right there. That pole. 
somewhere. All right, well, let's go back in the house. Just three limbs down over there. Starting to pick up a little bit now. Load the van out from underneath the house. You'll see something crazy. It's been raining all night. The wind has been blowing steadily. And the light pole right there, you can see the side of it. Looks gray on the left and dark on the right. That's because all the wind is pelting the right side and the left side is still dry. Let's hope that transformer holds out. That's my transformer. I hate to lose power for the rest of the day. Hurricane Matthew you ripped that tree out by the roots right there. It's barely hanging on and I was able to stand it back up and put a stake beside it to get it to come back. And I'll be doggone if it didn't snow that winter and kill it. Sorry. That little tree just blew over right there. Caught up my fence. Caught up my fence. You wanna see something crazy? That tree blew down. That little tiny skinny tree and all those leaves on it blew down. I guess the leaves act like a sail, but that basketball goal, which is just sitting there, hasn't moved. We'll probably lose power. If this isn't the worst of it, we'll probably lose power. Hear them frogs? 